Welcome to tonight's episode of One Drink, Three Bars Less Call. If you remember last week, we revisited the Frankie's Tiki Room book, which has two holiday-themed cocktails in it. Last week we made the San Aloha, and I promised that this week we would be making the Rum Rum Rudolph. Typically, when we make a recipe from this book, we just draw a random one and kind of wing it. But I went ahead and fished the two holiday ones out. So let's get right down to it. I'm going to start out with one ounce of spiced rum. And remember, last week we built in the glass, which is a little unusual, but it worked because you know exactly how much ice to put. Then we're going to do one ounce of 151 rum. And then the next two ingredients are sweet ingredients, and I did make this drink the other day and it was way too sweet. And it calls for half an ounce of cinnamon syrup, a quarter of an ounce of vanilla syrup, and a half an ounce of Coco Lopez. So I'm going to omit the vanilla syrup to cut the sweetness a bit. And I think I'm only going to put a quarter of an ounce of the cinnamon syrup because this is a 2 to 1 ratio of sugar and water, and their recipe is a 1 to 1 ratio. So I think that that will make the drink a little more balanced. So again, it calls for half an ounce of the cinnamon syrup, but I'm just going to put somewhere between a quarter and half of an ounce. I'm going to skip the vanilla syrup. And this is a refrigerated product comparable to Coco Lopez. So I'm just going to um, put in half an ounce of this. A dash of Angostura bitters. Um, two ounces of orange juice. Then I'm gonna just top it off with ice. Just gonna dump it straight in. I'm not gonna strain it. I'm gonna use the same ice. Now, they call for ground nutmeg, but I happen to have some toasted coconut and I thought that would be kinda nice, so I'm gonna sub that. I also really like these El Nicole Tiki Bitters, so I'm going to use a couple drops of those on the top. Put a red straw in it. And I'm going to garnish it with this flashing cherry to represent Rudolph's nose since it's the Rum Rum Rudolph. So I'm going to try this one and see if it's a little less sweet. I mean, I know it's going to be super sweet. It's almost like a dessert drink, but it was a little over the top. It's still a lot like a dessert. Now, I actually thought about adding a citrus element to it to take a little of the sweetness off. The next modification I'd probably make is to add about maybe three quarters of an ounce of lime or lemon juice. But if you like sweet stuff, maybe you'll like the Rum Rum Rudolph. But I definitely like the San Aloha more. So if you're interested in something that's more of a refreshing punch and not quite as heavy as this, check out that video that I just posted last week. I'll put a link below. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed already, hit that button, hit that bell, and I'll see you next time.